generally people in Missoula know me as a writer because I wrote movie reviews for The Independent for a long time. And it's only been in the past 10 years that I've started uh, doing more filmmaking and animation and cutting silhouettes and all these other things that are you know, traditionally visual art kinds of things. Journalism light is just sort of receded in importance in my life and, and art and filmmaking have kind of come to the fore. Silhouettes are inspiring to me because I'm constantly thinking about how to do them, uh, how to render the things in front of me into silhouette form. Like, hmm, how can I squash that into two dimensions using only black paper and maybe some colored tissue? It's just like a little artistic gear that's always turning, trying to figure out how to process these beautiful things around me into, you know, things that of my own, I guess, or things that I made. I'm trying to write myself into the story. The thing that I, I really like to do most as an artist is stop motion animation with a Super 8 camera and figures cut out of black cardstock that have little joints. I move them around, I photograph them in one position, and then I move them a little bit more and take another picture, and the result is animation with these moving black silhouettes and translucent backgrounds. It's the most complicated stuff I do, the stuff that takes the longest, and I say the stuff that packs the most megatonnage of creative reward when it's done. I don't really spend a lot of time caring what people think of me, but I want Missoulians to like what I do. You know, this is where I live. It would really help me in a lot of ways if, uh, if this was an accepted part of who I am, a filmmaker. But just having like a little, like some degree of success in my backyard is way more important than having oodles of success any place else for me. I guess having gone from a writer that everybody, a writer for the newspaper, that everyone got to enjoy for free essentially just by picking up the newspaper, it's kind of a shock going from that to trying to, you know, make a living by selling things individually or doing commissions like this. It's difficult. Ultimately, you just have to do something because you like it. And I like this like I've never liked anything else in my life. Sometimes it recedes in importance, but I just know that, that uh, this, this is for me. I don't know if it's for anybody else. All the difficulty that goes along with it, the difficulty of finding film and the expense involved and the feeling like using Super 8, you're forever on the verge of extinction. It just makes it really, uh, really rewarding for me when it gets, when it, when it, when I get the film back in the mail, essentially. Um, as much as I like doing it, the real proof is getting those reels back and seeing whether, whether or not it all turned out.